23 is really hands on, all right? Um, which is one why it's my favorite day because we. Just it was important for us as a county um, to bring our teachers together um, with shared ideas of new strategies and new learning techniques that are out there, and we wanted our teachers to understand that this was not just a that we didn't want them just to learn technology that we wanted our teachers to understand that technology is just intertwined in the new learning strategies and the techniques that teachers are expected to teach as the days progress it, they they get more into the conversation and you can tell that they're thinking a little higher up on that loon's taxonomy they're getting up there where they're you know using those higher order thinking skills they're seeing it in a whole new different light i think it's kind of adapting these uh activities to you know things that they can use in their classroom and make a difference with every student and not just a select group of students there have been certain things that i've really gotten a better understanding of brain-based learning uh, differentiated instruction um, I, you know, I do have a better understanding of those things now than I did coming in. Some of these theories you know, I knew about before, but you, you delve into them deeper and you start to, to understand them uh, a lot more than, than you know, from years ago just dealing with it in, in school. They're learning to give their students more freedom. And you see a lot more, when you go into the classrooms now, you don't just see students lined up in chairs, you know, and just looking at a board. You see a lot more activities going on and a lot more sharing going on. I have stressed every session, I stress that it's important that they understand that we're not just teaching different learning techniques and strategies, but we're also teaching them that students need rigor. That at home, they're on their, you know, they're on their, um, computers all the time, they're playing video games, and that they're used to fast pace, and that we want these teachers to learn that rigor is important and that they need to be able to go from one activity to the next. Um, we brought QTL to our county with hopes that this would be what would help our teachers get ready for the one-to-one -one initiative because they would change their way of teaching before they get their laptops and they would already be used to um, all, you know, new strategies and trying new ideas and having their students work on activities together in a group um, will prepare them for those same type of activities once we go with the one-to-one -one initiative. We've got uh, uh, one teacher this time who's, she, I mean, she has told us, you know, I, I don't know anything about computers, uh, that she has even admitted, even today on day three, that she's learned so much about you know, dragging and dropping folders and, you know, moving this here and moving that there. So, yeah, they're coming a long way with the technology as well as, you know, that the academic proportion of it too, so. I think QT, I think the representatives that came from QTL were great and they were enthusiastic and they made us feel comfortable taking what they had already developed in back to our county and that was important. I heard a lot of things about it being very hands-on, lots of activities, uh, not a lot of just sitting and listening to presenters and that sort of thing and certainly it has been that. We, they've kept us very busy with lots of, of interesting things to do. And even when we teach workshops now, when we have professional development and at the central office or in the schools, we use the techniques that QTL taught our facilitators. And so we've changed our way. Our instructional technology team has changed their way of teaching too. So we're teaching by example. Can you see a difference between before QTL was here and now? Well, I think one of the biggest differences is that students are more engaged. But one of the things that that I'm most impressed with is that you don't just see the higher level or the average student being more engaged. You see some of the students that normally would not have participated because they didn't, they did, they didn't want to raise their hand and answer a question. From one of the high school principals, he said once he started walking through the hallways and going into classrooms, students that normally may have been throwing spit wads or might have been causing problems are now the students that are engaged that are the most excited about being able to get up out of their seat and and share their ideas and you know even 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 just group you know fun game type activities I like to stress the collaborative partnerships and I try to stress how we're building one 
in QTL between um, the technology facilitators and the students that we have in there, the teachers. And then I try to tell them that I want them to take that back and build that partnership between themselves and their students. Then I want them to move it out and build that collaborative partnership with the other teachers in their school and then move it out and build it with other teachers in the county.